Hello guys, I'm Ayanda Tabeta. Welcome to my home. Let's talk about some feel-good TV, shall we? Let yourself in, why don't you? This is a little piece of heaven for me. It is right in the middle of the city, believe it or not, but it's like a little farmhouse where I can just enjoy my family and my loved ones. As you can see, I'm in my robe. That's part of feeling good for me, and that's because I spend most of my time at home. I'm a new mom of two babies, two under twos, and so getting into fancy clothes is really not what I'm about at the moment. I absolutely love reality TV. It really gets you into the psyche of people, especially when the cameras are off, <laughs> because we get to know what their lives are like, right? And we get to escape our own reality by watching other people's reality. One of my favorites being Bot. Guess who's back? I really like Dr. Nassif and Dr. Dubro, particularly on the way that they handle the patients. I think some of the stories are seriously sensitive. Some people have been living with these insecure for so long and you know they're scared to tell those stories those horrific stories and relive them although there are some humorous moments in between <laughs> you, you, you. million dollar listing new york season nine firstly it's the fashion before we go to the properties i mean the fashion a moment for the fashion i love the properties these homes are something to die for I think this show really shows the reality of New York being cutthroat. I am unstoppable. But also shows how beautiful the property is there, not to mention those prices. Super expensive. Imagine all the villains that you can think of, all of them in the same house. It shows where humans are willing to go to get something that they want. The first to cry is the first to cry. A lot of backstabbing, a lot of people that are really smart trying to get their way to win that prize. And if you like, like that backstabbing, then this is the show for you. Black culture, it starts a trend and everybody else thinks it's cool. What part of life can you think of on a global scale that black pop hasn't really affected? And I think it's such a special time to be speaking about black culture and uh, how it affects us and what it inspires us to do. We are in the era of feel good to be black, okay? So I'm looking forward to this one. And that's my feel good TV story. That's a wrap for me and my reality. I need these guys out of here. Cut! <laughs> Come on guys, that's a wrap. Let's get out of here.